Do you ever watch those nature programs on TV? It's such a wonderful lesson as to why we need to stay with the pack that is the body of Christ. Some of us have been offended by the body. And I know Jesus says in his scripture, if your hand offend you, cut it off. If your foot offend you, cut it off. And if your eye offend you, pluck it out. Well, the symbolism of that really means Stay away from everything that weakens your resolve to God's way. That's basically what that's about. But when it comes to the body of Christ, the living, breathing body of Christ, what you're dealing with at that point is the human race. And you're dealing with humans that are committed to Jesus Christ. Okay, you get me there. Now, imagine the human race that's committed to Jesus Christ. They are the ones who are called the body of Christ. Those are the ones that are in groups and churches and organizations and ministries. and They're the ones that you are to be connected to. The reason for being connected is it is way too painful being disjointed being out of socket with the body. When your shoulder is out of socket, you're talking pain, big time pain. You're also talking the lack of ability to function. It's a dysfunctioning way of living. Even though you are born again and you have asked Christ into your heart and asked him to forgive you for your sins, you've gone the whole nine yards. You may have even gone and been baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit and that with a mighty burning fire. If you are not connected with the body of Christ, you are doing yourself a very disservice. Remember, Jesus Christ has an enemy. And any enemy of his is an enemy of yours and mine. We cannot afford to live outside of the covering of the body of Christ. Now the body of Christ comes in all names, shapes, sizes, and purposes. And you have to pray about that and ask God to tell you which to join up with. But if you are not connected, you are like the the baby calf that's out in the wilderness. The baby has strayed from the pack. So the pack can't protect the baby. They can't warn the baby that danger is coming. And there are lions lying in wait on the prowl, waiting to jump, attack, and eat. And the baby has no idea he's being watched. And somebody's drooling over him because he's about to be dinner for that night. Why? He's straight away. He's by himself. He's looking at the worms and he's looking at the rats and he's looking at the plants and he's looking at all the things in the land, but he's not staying with the pack. So he is a sitting target. You get me? And you are a sitting target for the devil to play all kind of games with your mind. Play all kind of games with your life, temptations, all kind of stuff. Because you're not consulting with anybody. You're flying solo. Sorry, baby. You're not that good. You need to be with the body. I'll explain on the next video. Okay? I'll tell you about my business and why I'm glad I stay connected.